guys, James here today and welcome back to another building video. That's right, today we're gonna be building in The Sims. I know it's kind of crazy, but that's what we're gonna be doing. So recently I've been redesigning and rebuilding my website from the ground up. That's kind of where I disappeared to for like two weeks. This is what it looks like now. I think it's pretty cool, pretty simple. You know, I thought I'd just show it off while I'm here. Also show off the new channel, which already has 22,000 subs. Thank you so much, that, that is actually awesome. I uh, did not expect to have that many subscribers before we've even posted a video, but get subscribed if you're not already. The whole point of me telling you this is that uh, with the process of redoing my website, I actually ended up adding all of my old original Sims 2 builds to it. So I've got all of the old stuff here. This goes back a really long way. If we go to the first one, oh, a row of Victorian house. Oh yeah, don't mind the, uh, the f don't mind the photo quality because I mean this is from 2006 yeah April 22nd 2006 is when this is from anyway so I, I went through added all my old stuff and I was like you know what I should fix one of my terrible builds but the question is which build do I do it has to be one that we can actually do in Sims 4 because we don't have a lot of the stuff that I used in these for example there's no way to do this in Sims 4 uh, we cannot curve walls like that. <laughs> Maybe we should do something simple like this guy here. Number six, Rondel Drive. It's not too crazy. It looks like it's got dormers up the top, which uh, d I don't think there's anything in there. <laughs> Look how small the photo is. My, my photography skills also didn't really develop until later on either. So <laughs> there's that. Okay, we do have a floor plan though. That's good. Yeah, I think we can fix this. I think we can make this better and bring it to life in The Sims 4. But as an extra twist, and also just because I want to use my website a little bit more, we're going to use random packs from the random pack generator, which has also been redesigned. I don't know if you can tell, I'm, I'm pretty excited with the whole website thing, you know. Anyway, so this has been redesigned. We'll just choose five random packs. We'll have at least one expansion, one game pack, and one stuff pack, just so we don't get completely screwed over. But let's see what we've got generating. Here we go. We, uh, okay, well, no. And we're going to... Turn that one off. All right, <laughs> generating, generating. And we've got Strangerville, Romantic Garden stuff, Island Living, Toddler stuff, get to work. Pretty good, pretty good combination. Let's build. Oh, and if you're wondering how we actually do this in our game, if we go to the Disable Sims 4 Packs page, and I guess the quickest way to select five packs would be to click on this guy, and then just select the five we want. So Strangerville, Romantic Garden stuff, Island Living, Toddler stuff, and get to work. Then we just click in here, copy that string, pop over to Origin and just paste it in, click save. And it will say like pack download in progress, but that's fine. We don't need to worry about that. Oh, actually we can see what lot size this one was on as well. It says two by two, which would be a 20 by 20. And we can see the budget. I wonder if we can stick to that budget. I mean, obviously the things in Sims 4 are gonna have a different price, but I wonder if we can use that same budget on a lot of the same size, but also make it better. So I guess the only challenge is actually finding a 20 by 20, because I don't think there's any 20 by 20s in base game. There is one in Magnolia Promenade. Solani does actually have one, but I mean, I, we, we're kind of in like a suburban neighborhood. So really like a new crest or something. I think we'll just go, we'll just have to go like a 30 by 20, just like a standard lot. Right, so the first step is just to recreate the exterior, which looks pretty simple. I guess I should do the floor plan first. That'll be easier to work from. So what we'll do, I guess I'll just use a wall tool. All right, so the deck along the front is seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it goes out one and then it goes across four. This is the, the shape of the house. Uh, mind you, part of this is a deck. So we do actually have to cut that in to there and then replace that with, I'll just do this for now. I'll probably, I mean, we'll definitely change that in a minute. But anyway, that is the house done. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's move it up. So it's up four, I believe, because it's just a standard foundation height, which is the four. Then the roof also looks pretty standard. So we're just going to do this now. The, I guess actually one, <laughs> one thing Sims 2 actually has over the Sims 4 here is we could remove this wall right here in uh, Sims 2, but we can't really do that in Sims 4. Um, so it, it's actually going to look worse in the Sims 4. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Well, 
That is something, that's part, gonna be part of the challenge. But let's get the basic shape of the house done first. I also don't know how I would approach this on the other side. I can't see that side. I'm gonna guess it was an issue that looked, it probably looked exactly like this because there's no way that roof couldn't have. All right, all right, let's just get the basic elements in here. So then we had a dormer here, which is gonna be the three by one. Cause that was, The Sims 2 actually came with default dormers in the game that you could just place. And they were just like rooms like this. And then we just had a roof and then, oh, look at that. Yeah, that's exactly this, dude, this is great. Right. This right here shows you that The Sims is still the same game at heart. Ah, oh, look at this. Yeah. Oh, uh, we don't have a basic column. I can't actually recreate what the original one looked like because the columns are actually in the middle of these tiles. <laughs> They're actually in the middle here because I don't think you could place them on, well, you definitely couldn't like just place them easily like that. I don't think without move objects maybe. Uh, so we can't recreate it exactly, unfortunately. And I don't have the same column, but I guess I'll just use this. Uh, this doesn't space properly. We'll just do that. There we go. So we'll go like that for now. I, I don't worry about the colors. This is just the recreation process. Now, okay, so this is pretty much, this is pretty much the house on the, the outside. Obviously then it had a driveway, which the Sims 4 could never. <laughs> <laughs> and it's more or less in the middle of the lot already. I'm actually gonna shift it over to the right by one. That does not centralize it because now we have four there and five on this side, but there is an element in the original build here where I have like decoration here, which will make it look more centered. So that's what we're gonna do. Now I can't go to the edge of lots with fences in The Sims 4 for some reason, but if I could, just imagine that it does. <laughs> oh, I just realized I actually did a little bit of detailing around the door area. This is exciting guys. The door actually goes in like this. So that's pretty exciting, it's like that, oh. It's not really a front door that matches the one that I used, but if I were to put one on this house, I would probably use maybe some, actually this one looks, you know, it seems to go with it. Or maybe this one, maybe like that. Just one big door. I don't know, we'll probably, honestly, we'll probably change it. Right now, I'm just recreating it and then, we'll gonna, then we're gonna change it up. All right, I think this is looking pretty good. Like this pretty much looks like the house, obviously with a few changes, because at Sims 4, things have changed in the last 12 years since I originally built this. So, you know, uh, I also don't know what the windows are like on this side, because uh, I can't see them in that photo. And round the back, I made an educated guess because in one of the photos we can see there is a window here based on the floor plan. So I assume I did one at the same distance in on the other side, I don't know. That's what I'm going with though. But now, now that we've got the build, I guess we're gonna just do the, the floor plan real quick, which literally should be real quick. It should just be this and then that, and then there's a bathroom there. And that's pretty much the floor plan. Yeah, that's it, that's it. It's not a big house. It, it definitely looks a lot bigger from the front, I guess because of that second story. So I'm wondering maybe we can do an extension onto the house to actually make it worthwhile. It's time to get fixing. I'm gonna be honest, I don't actually mind <laughs> the look of the house. It's actually not that bad. And I actually think it makes more sense to have a wall here in the Sims floor because we have these huge dormers sticking out here. These must have just been like sort of floating before, which is interesting. Anyway, let's fix this side of the house because this is already an issue. So let's go ahead and I guess we'll just add an extra little bit of depth to this side. So we're just gonna push out this whole wall. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. Let's try and do this in a way that would be affordable if this were real. Yeah, if you were like, honestly like, wow, my house looks really bad. You'd probably just, I mean, well, you just wouldn't have, this roof just wouldn't exist here. So I guess maybe we can just, what if we just do that? Does that look weird from the front? It kind of does, but it does fix the problem without having to do a, a major like construction work. Like all you do is just remove a bit of the roof. Maybe what we can do is we can do that and then add these guys in and maybe bump up the, the depth or the size of the roof trim just to like that. I mean, I think that looks fine. That looks fine like that. And then it fixes this whole side bit. Obviously we need to do something with this side in general because it looks awful. Uh, maybe even just like a chimney or something over here would be good. But where I do want to do some actual construction construction works is around the back. I think we could add a nice extension to the back of the house. Actually, I want to find out what the size of 20 by 20 is. So if we go across diagonal like this, that means right here would be 19 by 19. So this would actually be our, our back limit if we were going to do it on the original 20 by 20. So maybe we leave that blank and use this area as our canvas. And just to mark that, I'll just do a regular fence, not a wall. Let us do that. And then what I would like to do is I would like to push back this enough that we can actually fit like an attic in here. Well, actually, I guess we don't really need to. What we could do is we could just add a room. What if I just do that? So it just sticks out of the whole back of the house. So from the front, we're not even changing the appearance. And then we just give it a real cheap, roofing solution, just like a really low angled slope. So from the front, you're like, oh yeah, that, that's the same house. And then from the back, you're like, 
Oh, uh, though I'd still like to change the look of this at the back. <laughs> it's still a bit sad. Although, I mean, this doesn't do much for our looks. The question is, do we do the same wall material? Maybe just a different color. Before I decide that, let's make this look less, <laughs> less bad from the back, maybe. So we have our main living space here. Uh, what we could do, well, we should probably add an extension on this side because it'd make more sense just from the, the weight of the house. because We already have a, st a bit sticking out on that side. So having the same on the back might make sense. Do the same sort of columns here. Just, you know, match it all together and tie it all together. I guess we can get rid of this fence now. That was just a sort of a visual indicator of where we can go to. I mean, maybe fix is a strong word for this. Maybe we need to, maybe we do need to change it up a little, just a little bit. What if we just did this little section in the same brick? Oh, then we're gonna, mm. you know what? I think I have to actually adjust this roof and maybe even do it the other way. So then this one hangs over the edge and then that one doesn't. Actually, I guess they both could now. Because if we're just going to go all the way along the side here, we guess we might as well. I mean, it's a bit weird to have this whole section of roof there, but what we could do to make it look less weird, potentially, is build like a chimney off to the side, I guess. I mean, oh, those bricks look kind of weird though now. Maybe this section needs to stay what it was and then that just have a... Ch yeah, that's all right. You know what? That is actually all right because then you sort of still get that contrast of different materials. I think with that on the front, that was too much and then we don't have to worry about the side because this, this, I mean, that already looks a lot better. I mean, we do have a big flat wall there, but I think that looks already a lot better than what it did before. Uh, I'm thinking the upstairs extension is, is pretty rough, but I'm not entirely against it because this kind of extension at least in real life would be pretty popular because it'd be easy to do like you just sort of break through the roof there add a couple of walls in i mean that's obviously oversimplifying it a lot but along those lines it's not that complicated but i'm wondering if we just downsize it a bit so from this size side it, i mean it does look rough but you know i think it has interest <laughs> i think this needs to be something else because it's supposed to, this is supposed to be like a cheap extension they built upstairs uh i think white is just not it needs to like some texture to it <laughs> no look at this island living one like it's sort of slightly more weathered looking wall well that one might be better because it's not as harsh just so it looks like it's been there a little longer than you know put up today uh, that's kind of the idea, like maybe they renovated a few years back. Should it be over one more and just make it even smaller? Like it's not supposed to be anything crazy or like huge. I mean, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, I got to say. What I would like to do is probably <laughs> recolor this fence and that because I don't think that makes a whole lot of sense when everything else is trimmed in white. But then the thing is, does this make it more boring? You know, like then everything is just white and yellow and brick, you know. Let's add back some of that intrigue. Maybe even just with that one. I mean, that's kind of it's a little bit fancy, maybe a little too fancy and you can't even see half of it, but it's there. <laughs> now make no mistake, this is not supposed to be like a modern renovation. Just at some point, you know, in the last 12 years, someone renovated this. And by someone and in the last 12 years, I mean me and I mean right now. No, but the idea is it was supposed to be renovated a while ago. So it's still in that kind of I guess uh, mid to late 2000s kind of ish style. Maybe just that, like it's nothing super fancy, but I think that that works. All right, let's um, maybe fix some of these windows. Oh, actually I should probably add a balcony to the back of the house too. I guess how do I want to do this? Cause that one sort of overlaps the whole roof. I guess this one doesn't need to be covered. Like it could just be here. And I would actually like this to just be like a deck. So it is like, it looks like it'd be a little bit cheaper to put together. I really dislike some of these base game floors. Like, I mean, I like the look of it, but what I really dislike about some of these is they just have infinitely long floorboards like there's no break in the board it just keeps going it's kind of bizarre that it's just like that i mean i like it but it just when you look at it closely it doesn't make a lot of sense what if we just had this like cheap deck chucked on the back hang on this is is, is it okay am i supposed to be fixing this build or am i just <laughs> adding to it because this does not look good let's maybe let's maybe at least make it look good Let, let's try that <laughs> i'm really not this is really not working for me I think maybe we just leave it like that. Oh yeah, I forgot when they made sliding doors, I didn't make them match anything. Although we could use this island living one that matches these windows. I kind of just wanted to go, maybe they went a little bit modern on the back of the house, you know, just some newer windows or something here and there. Just that bit like that. I don't want to go crazy with doing that, but I think just that bit would be cool. Even <laughs> an extension of the top is so bad. The interesting thing with this is uh, the, the shape of the room is bizarre. Like we've got these two dormers that just sort of head through there. I guess I guess we could try if we wanted to add more space between them, but I think it might be better just to leave it like that. All right, this floor plan is not making any sense now because we got this weird, well, we got a window in the room first of all, let's get rid of that. 
got this weird indent. We've got a chimney over here. So that sort of implies that, well, there should be a fireplace over here somewhere, but that's in the bedroom at the moment. So I think we kind of need to change this up completely. But then this is clearly the living room because it's got this right here. Uh, yeah, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> well, we could do a bedroom there. That can, that can be done. This could be a living room like here. And then we have a, a, a fireplace here. Hang on. I'm also fully aware that this is The Sims and it doesn't have to be realistic in any way, but let's just say that's where the fireplace goes because that's where we put the chimney. So then this is our living space. This space is just bizarre. I guess we'll keep this as the kitchen dining area then. And then do we do we then enclose this? Like, should I do this? And then just have, I know it, I know it seems weird because it's making the space smaller. But like I said, this is kind of an older house. So it's like, we could do that and then just add, uh, you know, archways to the rooms that you want to go to. Like, so you come in here, this is your little entrance hall. Could even have like a little table here or something just to put your keys down onto. Then you got the living space, the kitchen, dining, and then the bedroom, or at least one of the bedrooms. I don't know where the bathroom's going to go. I guess maybe as an ensuite to the bedroom. I don't know. I'll figure that out in a minute. Then upstairs, we're going to need a way to get up. I mean, I would be inclined to just do a ladder, but it does seem weird just having a ladder in your living room. <laughs> like I would be okay if it was like a hatch that you pull down, you know, and then like the ladder comes down like an attic hatch kind of thing. But there's not really any more room. Like we can't, there's no way we could fit the stairs. Hmm. Maybe it does need to be bigger. Oh, this side, this side then becomes like, like, what is this? I, like, I don't know. I mean, it's already not great like that, but it's not as bad, I don't think. Can we do, can I like do this and then like have a door? I, I have a 100% feeling this will not work, but if I could just hide the ladder behind a door, I'd be much happier. Oh, hang on. This actually might work. I mean, at least she's gonna, oh, is she, is she gonna walk here and then complain it doesn't work? Oh, it totally works. That's amazing. I did not know you could put it in a one by one with a door on it. Ah, oh, that's great. Okay, cool. Oh, this is this is arguably a much worse floor plan than the original. Uh, and, and not even arguably, probably is. Uh, <laughs> so we got the front door here. I put the door to the ladder here, which I don't know if this door will work. It might have to go back that way. Um, then behind it, we have a bathroom that's actually now one tile smaller than the original. Then that door's over here. Then we have another door here that goes to the bedroom. And then the, the fireplace is there. Did, did Have I failed in, in doing anything? Ugh, I don't know, man. I, I don't know that I can say that this is any better than the original. <laughs>I think this looks pretty good. It's kind of like, it's not that colorful. That I guess that's the big issue with it. I did actually really want to do like pastel dining chairs. That's kind of what I was going to do. But with the pack combination I have, it doesn't exist. I'm also aware that these are bar stools and that's a table. These will not work. You cannot actually sit on them. But I thought it looked really nice. It's better than any of the dining chairs and I figured we'd have an outdoor table. So it'd probably be fine. Let's not worry about it too much. Hey. Hey pals, <laughs> hey pals, how are you doing? Wanna come say hi? Come here. Hey, what, when I want your... <sighs> when you want him to come to you, he doesn't. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Hi people. Yeah, there you go. You got a little wag. Oh, Eli. You know what? I think it is actually coming together. Like I, I've done the kitchen and that. I mean, yeah, it is a little bit bland. I will admit it's not my most colorful creation, but I think it looks quite nice. And then along with the bathroom that I've actually put in this space, I extended it by one tile out that way. 
I think it actually works. Like it's it's a very it's an odd odd shaped bathroom, yes, but it does accommodate the ladder fitting in quite nicely. And with the door having moved over here instead of being over here, we have much less doors on this wall, which is also really nice. And I think it looks good. I th I actually you know what I think this is fixing the original build. Uh, now I was looking at this as like we probably should have windows here for the main bedroom because it would be nice to see out onto the deck. I guess we could uh, see what I was originally planning on doing though is actually turning this into a wardrobe and like building that in because I thought that might be better. Because if correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe we have the built in wardrobes from get to work, right? Oh, I was wrong. It was get together. No, <laughs> I knew it was one of the early ones. All right, fine. No built in wardrobe. So then I guess we don't need to worry about that. Uh, we don't need to worry about leaving that space free. So we could turn that into nice windows. Uh, we do actually need to fit a bed in here though. Actually, I'm just looking at this room. We have cut into a lot of this room. All right, I think this works for the bedroom. It's nothing like crazy detailed or anything, but we just got the bed in here, a few little things around the you know bedside tables, a little chair. I ended up doing the little sliding door out to the balcony as well, which I mean, the height doesn't quite line up, but you know, when the roof is on like that, I think it looks perfectly fine. So then they can get out there and and you know, there's more light because it seemed quite dark in this room without those, without that door there. But I think that's looking pretty, if I do say so myself. It is kind of weird having the fireplace at the back of the room because I don't really want to put couches here <laughs> for, I mean, obvious reasons. I mean, we could have one facing there, but then that's also kind of weird. So I guess it's just going to kind of heat the whole room, which is equally as weird. Um, and I think what we'll just have to do is just keep it fairly open. I don't like that couch at all. All right, the little living room is, I mean, it's all right. I kind of worked with what I had. I changed the fireplace up to make it look a little bit more grand, I guess, which is kind of weird. Well, not grand, that's not the right word. A little bit more not so plain looking. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this is a little living room. Uh, I got a wall mounted TV, small little TV cabinet thing, a little office desk there, the regular couch on that side. I mean, it's really, it's nothing, Crazy. Now, I know originally I said about this whole budget thing. Uh, yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> I'm nowhere near that and I'm not even trying. You know, I'm just having fun and just sort of revisiting this build and re like furnishing it and doing a different layout. Obviously we've extended it, made it bigger, so it's not exactly the same, but I think that makes it a lot more interesting and gives us a lot more to play around with. I think the ground floor is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this, but we're just gonna do the upstairs which I don't know, I guess maybe a second bedroom would probably make sense because it, it's definitely a big enough house that it should probably have more than one bedroom. So what we'll do, I guess, you know what? This is already a door. So we don't really need to do another door up here, which is kind of cool. So we can just even leave this as a complete like loft area, which is which is definitely interesting. I definitely see this as like a, a teen's bedroom. So I've given them a double bed. Actually, you know what? Interesting point. How would you get anything into this room? Because... <laughs> You can't get that. There's no way that came up the stairs. The windows are not big enough to like crane something through. Um, you know what? Let's let's give it bigger windows so that there's a somewhat realistic way they could have got stuff into the bedroom. What about we do this? Give it its own balcony. Does that work? Is that now? Is this getting too busy now? You know what? Let's remove the fence down here. I think this is making it too busy. So anyway, the whole point of doing a whole deck up here is just to add a door. Now it is off center to the one below, but I don't think that really matters because you're not really looking at it like that. I think it looks fine. I think it looks fine. Right, now it's kind of silly to do like a whole thing just to make it seem like we could get a bed up here, but that's what we did. And because they're typical cool teenager is what I've decided. They're gonna have a guitar because they're gonna play it. <laughs> I'm gonna have this sweet light over here. Like maybe that this used to be the attic. They just left this here. So it's a cool dope light that they can use. I like also how this is the only object that has a PowerPoint. I wish we had more of this because it's cool. I don't know. This is a nice little detail. And maybe because they're super, they're super artsy as well. They have a sweet expensive camera there and they just stare off into the sun and paint. Although actually painting there would be really bad because the canvas would block the window. No, let's not put it there. Go out here. Go for a run in here though. <laughs> I don't know who this sim is, but they are, they have better room than me, like actually framed posters. That's cool. And they're so artsy that they write in their journal as well. There you go. <laughs> they're an author, they're a musician and a photographer. Oh, and a painter, sorry. I mean, this kid is, oh, 
They are super cool. Not quite sure what's going on with the back here, but I've just done an outdoor dining table because we don't even have one inside. A barbecue over there. A couple of little planters so you can plant stuff there. They're a little off the wall because this door like slides open here. So there's just a bit of space left for that. We've got the bin over that side. And I guess around the front, we just need to do uh, just a little seating area because that's what we had in the original too. And I think for this, probably just a regular bench would be fine. And then maybe just like a, a potted plant next to it. And actually, I think I had a hanging plant somewhere too, which if I had nifty knitting installed with this random pack challenge, then I could use it, but I don't obviously, so we won't. <laughs> Now we also have a couple trees just on the lot. So I guess we will continue to have trees here. There was one near the front somewhere. Uh, obviously we don't have the same trees. So I'm just going to do one that I like the look of. I don't want I also don't want to block the lot because I feel like it's a very beautiful looking place, you know? And then we do have one on the side, which is good because I think we do, in this case, I think we should block it. Uh, make sure it's not actually going through the walls. There you go, that looks pretty good from the side. <laughs> and then around the back, there you go. I mean, the, 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 the decks and the balcony, I don't think these look particularly great. Maybe that's a bit better, just contrasting that table a bit more. And then these, I think are just, oh yeah, that oh, that's way better already. Oops, I think I just changed the color of the blinds, which I, I guess is fine. Uh, the easel, maybe one that's a little bit more scuffed up. That's pretty good. And then I might just get some more of these chairs up here, actually. Maybe we just do like this, a couple of chairs. Sit out here with Bay, you know. Oh, you know what? I'll put this a little bit into the roof because that's kind of cool. So it sort of slopes into the roof like that. Maybe that's a bit better. Oh, that window got messed up. Did my door get messed up again? Yep. Okay, that's a bit better. I mean, now, now I feel like it looks like it's lived in, not like it's, you know, pristine show home, but I think it's what it needs to be. And just a little decoration on this side. There we go. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that looks too bad. I think this turned out great because from the front, it does actually look like the original. And then from the back, I don't think it looks too bad. Like we don't really know what the back exactly look like. Obviously we've increased the floor plan size. Oh, before we do a final tour and comparison of this and the original, we do, let's get a car there. All right, what car do we want? This is really big and it's only a two door, but I guess it's the one we'll go for. There you go, so that's where they can park their cars. Oh yeah, look at this place. All right, so if you remember the original, that's what it looks like right there. And this is what the new one looks like. I think that's pretty good. Like if we go like this, hang on there, there, there. Look at that, it's like the same house. I'm, I'm actually, that makes me really happy to see this. Let me put the car back. Now the front porch obviously had a few things on it, but I mean, we're not, we're not recreating exactly. But there, there's the front porch here. Let's just get in there. Hang on. Here's our, here's our new front porch. You know, it's, it's, it's all right. It's, you know, it's a little different, but that's just the way things go. Uh, okay, this is where we, we have a big improvement. That's the kitchen, and here we have the new kitchen versus the old kitchen. I think this looks, I mean, it looks a lot better. <laughs> It looks so much better. So that's the new kitchen area. You know, it's quite nice. In the original, the living space was actually also in the kitchen, but now we have our own living room in here, which is combined with like a home office kind of set up over there. I think it's a nice space that we really work together to bring all together into the new layout and floor plan, which we'll have a look at in a second. And we have the little entrance foyer here, which I think actually turned out really well. Like all things considered, having a, like dividing this floor plan up, it actually worked out pretty well. And the new master bedroom, which has got a new lick of paint, you know, a new bed, obviously, I mean, The Sims 4, it's not gonna be the same. And just, you know, we're really keeping it simple, keeping it simple, nothing too crazy. Out the back, we got the, the deck, which I don't think the original had a deck or anything out the back. And it didn't have an upstairs, which we've also added, which makes sense because there's two dormers on this house. So we've actually given them use. I mean, this one has nothing in it. I, I don't know what to put in it. So if you have an idea, let me know. This is also going through the window a bit. So I'll slide that back. Yeah, this is uh, the upstairs room, which is pretty cool. Got their own balcony. And actually, let's have a look at the floor plan now. So the new floor plan versus the old one. I mean, the old one made sense. It was a small house. I, th I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It was just a small house and start a home at that. But with this one, we actually, we extended out the back and we've added an upstairs with a ladder, which I think oh, that fits so well. The bathroom's now in the middle, which didn't move too much. Like it moved from here to here. So I don't think that's too too crazy. We actually added a fireplace in as well. And then the second bedroom, which is just up here. So that is my Sims 2 fixing my terrible Sims 2 build from, wait, how long ago was it? <laughs> from 12 years ago. I mean, I don't know if this is totally fixed, but I think it gave it a new life. It's kind of cool. I mean, I had a lot of fun doing this. Like, I think it's, it, it's actually kind of exciting to see this in The Sims 4, even though it's such a basic design. But if you do want to download this, it will be on my gallery. I'll link it down below. You can check it out there. 
Uh, or you can search for James Turner YT on the gallery. That's right, new gallery ID, no longer the Sim Supply, although that one still exists, so you can find it there. But you can search for this one on James Turner YT. But thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.